Hello, I'm the eternal newbie. The extra L is because eternity is a long time. Today, sadly, I'm out of stories. So I'm gonna give some advice to new players. The subject of today's video is metagaming and why you should always do it. No, metagaming is bad, but why? I know what meta means and it's good. Gaming, of course, is good. So how can two good things make a bad thing? I need to look this up. Oh, that metagaming. Yeah, I totally knew what that meant. I must have been thinking of the German definition, yeah. Of course that metagaming is wrong. Everybody knows that. So an example for those of you who are still confused would be using knowledge your character doesn't know to make in-game decisions. In video and computer games, this is how you play. There is no difference really between the character and you. At least that's how I play them. I don't solve puzzles as the avatar. I solve them as myself. But Dungeons and Dragons is different. There are things you know in Dungeons and Dragons that your character wouldn't. Using this knowledge in game is a big no-no. For example, I know the rogue just rolled a four on his investigation while looking for traps. My character only knows that the rogue has been finding traps really well so far and has no reason to doubt him. I don't want to go walking right through the middle of this room, but that's what the character would do. So, after the DM points this out, explaining nicely, I do it. Okay, I didn't really listen at first. Well, he didn't have to be so mean. Some people find metagaming confusing. Not me. I understand it completely. Sometimes it seems like it's okay. The enemy rolls a 19 to hit and your AC is 16. So you cast shield. And don't get hit. Is that metagaming? No one casts shield when the monster rolls 7 above their AC. Okay, there was that one time, but it could happen to anybody. Thank you. So where exactly is the line? When is outside knowledge okay to use and when is it not? I've spent much time researching and pondering these points. Lots of people have their opinions, but only mine is the right one. I think sometimes your character could be assumed to know things. During my research, I saw a kind of famous example that people use. A group of adventurers encounter a troll. The players, knowing you have to kill trolls with fire, use fire attacks. The DM tells them they can't use fire because their characters don't know a troll can only be killed by fire or acid. So the party fumbles around for a while before the DM finally lets them figure it out. Most people seem to think the DM is wrong here, and I'd agree with that. Now, I'm not one to challenge a DM. Okay, so maybe I argue a little bit, but only over valid points. The dungeon Master was wrong. I was squinting really hard. Anyway, you're telling me you got this person who grew up in a world of mythical creatures and monsters, who decides to be an adventurer, and who's going adventuring in a place where trolls live, and they don't do any research to figure out they need fire to kill a troll? What kind of a moron would do that? That'd be like going to your server's job and carrying everything by hand because you didn't know what the trays were for. Or being a math professor who can't add. There are just things you know for your job unless you're a complete moron. Going back to the shield spell, I think that's okay too. Us great athletes know when our shots are going to hit. A great basketball player knows when a shot is good when it leaves his hand. A bowler can see a strike as soon as he lets the ball go. Adventurers are the best of the best. The Babe Ruths or Michael Jordans of their world. The eternal newbies, if you will. I have no problem believing they would know if they were going to connect on a swing or get hit by an attack. Us naturals 
can do things that you mere mortals can't. Why, the great Al Bundy once scored four touchdowns in a single game, after all. Who else can say that? So, to me at least, with my vast experience, that's the cutoff. Your character is the elite of this world. They know their stuff. Adventurers who don't, just don't last very long. Others may tell you differently, but take it from me, the eternal newbie. I'm always right. This is the right way. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and give me a like. If you didn't like this video, please subscribe and give me a like. And don't worry, I was just kidding. I have plenty of stories left. Have a great day.